another day at Six Flags St. Louis, and it's a hot one today. I think it's like in the 90s already, and the park's not even open for 10 minutes. Like it's like 11.07 or 11.08 right now. And uh, I got two rides on Scream and Eagle start my day. Front of the blue train, it was running okay on the first ride, the second ride was a little bit better. And uh, now I'm going down to the boss, which I have not seen run with guests on it. And uh, I found that Rookie Racer apparently has all track work completed. So I'm gonna go over there and take a look at that and see what's changed. Because when I was here uh, last week, they only had one piece of the track in place, not including the station. This is also the first weekend after uh, daily operations has ended, so the park wasn't open at all last week. And my theory was that as soon as daily operations ended, they were gonna put Ricky Racer together. And it seems like they did that. So let's go down to Boston and take a look at Ricky Racer in the process, which I just saw go over the top what's left there, but yeah, it was open yet. So let's go to take a look at Ricky Racer, which you actually can kind of see it through the trees over there. So if, uh, let's go see it. Oh yeah, there it is. That would be the little tail. So let's go look at this thing in person. Looks sick, right? What do you think? It looks so cool. <laughs> I know, I can't wait for this thing to actually be open so we can get some shots of it. But man, this is so cool looking. I mean, so glad they got it finished when they did. Oh man, going over the bridge above the boss key line will look, make it look cool. Like, got some over right through here. This looks awesome. Overall, first impressions of how this thing looks. It looks incredible. Great like, color scheme too. Yes, it does look really good. All the track is put in place. And it runs really close to the queue line. Like, holy cow. So yeah, I can't, like I just said, I can't wait to get some footage of this ride, but that's for another day. For now, let's ride the ride that really matters right now. And that is, of course, Boss. Well, what do you know? First train of the day, Ryan and I had all to ourselves, trimless. How was it? Good. Uh, Down for a little staple happy. But that's okay. Yeah. It was running quite smoothly as well, which I'd appreciate. I mean, there was a couple parts that were a little rough. I mean, like that one valley over there was kind of joy, but it was like, it's like that pretty much every time, would you say? Sunday is for those, I mean, not the worst. It could have been, I've seen it run much worse. I've seen it run better, so. The overall, I was, uh, really so, wait, wait, why are the lap bars up on the yellow train? I don't know why that is, but that's very strange, but yeah, see we're only running one train out, which cool. So yeah, otherwise there won't be a second train on the transfer track, so. Yeah, we'll, uh, but I was one more time and then we'll head down towards the front of the park. And it sounds like Freeze could be on two trains because they've been running it quite a bit. So we'll go take a look at that after we ride Boston. Second ride on Boss was not trimless, but I thought it was even better than before. I mean, ejector on a lot of the elements, wasn't it yeah, great? it was way better than the first ride, I would say that. And we actually had some room next time, which helped. And uh, the speed hill before the first turnaround, I think that was the best element on the ride for today at least. It was firing. Last turnaround after the mid-course, even that had some airtime in the front. Which one are you talking, like the one after the drop off the mid-course? Yes. Really? I got more laterals up there, I didn't get much airtime on it. Going off the... Really? I actually had a little bit of air time. I mean, off. yeah, maybe a little bit, but. Which is crazy in the front row. You know how mild that would be in the back. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to go down to Justice League now. And uh, since I was actually last year, I actually turned 21. So this is actually my first time riding this as an actual adult now. Because I turned uh, 21 on August 14th. And as when I'm recording this, it is August uh, 20th. So this will be my first time riding Justice League after turning 21. And I guess my first coaster ride as an adult was Scream Eagle. So overall, uh, it was uh, really good, those rides we got. And, uh, Let's see if I got uh, the skills in Justin League, of Justin League Swimming, which I don't see why I wouldn't. I mean, last time I was like berserk. I like almost had a five panel run. I got 150,000 at least with the third blaster. So let's see how I do today. Did two rides on Justice League and one on Mr. Freeze. Let's start with uh, Justice League. My first ride, four sets of panels on the second screen. And uh, as you can expect, I had a second screen max because I had 700,000 coming out of the first one. And then on my second ride, I uh, definitely struggled. My blaster wasn't working very well, like at all, and I barely got it in time. Ryan actually beat me to it that ride, and yet the results screen still said that I beat him to it, which I'm like, no, that's not right. This thing, Mr. Freeze, that was a nuts. 
I love this thing. Yep, better than our first ride on Boss, but I think our second ride on Boss is a little bit better than this, but those two are really good. You were saying something about how much you grayed out on that. What was that so all about? I grayed out like, on the return trip. I didn't gray out on the backwards section, but going in the return trip, front row, all over bank, I grayed out. Then going up in the inverted top end, I grayed out. And then coming out of the gray out, I got launched out of my seat. <laughs> yeah, it was just insane. And uh, we had to wait, I don't know, four or five transfer, but I think it was worth the wait. We'll uh, give the back row a try a little bit later, but Breeze, front row, excellent. Justice League one more time and I found out that Ryan went to American Thunder so I'm gonna head over there in just a minute to catch up with them and we get some shots of the boss from right here because uh, we got some of the right elements over there we got Mr. Freeze going to the trees so yeah I'll definitely try Freeze again later but I don't know I got boss I'll get off both of those after a while so let's head over to American Thunder Colossus is a walk-on, now's the time to ride it. So let's go get some aerial views of the park from up there. And uh, Ryan rode American Thunder, he said it was just kinda eh, cause they got red train. So that's unfortunate that it wasn't running great. But they did have two trains going. So yeah, I might try later, but I don't know, I feel the need to be honest. So let's take a ride on Colossus, or maybe two actually, depending on how uh, long the lines are coming back. And plus uh, if I get any good shots from there.
believe I'm about to say this, but I literally did two rides in a row on Colossus without getting off. How often am I able to say that? Never, because that thing always has a line. Today's like the one exception. So I figured I might as well do a second lap because A, I didn't get too much from up there, I feel like. And B, it was nice to beat the heat for a while. It was actually quite uh, relaxing up there with the breeze and stuff. So now I'm gonna go over towards Boss and do that again because it was running really good this morning and I cannot wait to see how it runs now. So let's head up that direction and take another ride on it. The Flash Pass website on my phone says that Boss is delayed, but Boss is up and running. So I'm gonna go let the Flash Pass people at the front of the park know about this. And then I'll also do a couple more laps of Justice League. I've only ran that one three times today. And I gotta start the marathon here shortly. Well, not exactly shortly. I only got like two hours left, but I wanna get a couple more rides in on it before then. So I'm gonna go to Justice League a few times. Then go let the Flash Pass people at the front of the park know that Boss is uh, delayed. Well, actually, I'll double check that after I ride Justice League. See if the website still says it's delayed or not. If it does say that, I'll go to the Flash Pass Center in the front of the park and let them know about it to see, see if they can change it. And then I'll go up to Boss. So, also, since it was a national roller coaster day earlier this week, as of when I'm recording this, the first thousand people in the park got a double ride voucher, which means they would be able to ride any coaster they're choosing twice in a row without having to get off, even if there's a line. So, I was gonna go use my double ride voucher on Boss once I get back up there. And then I'm gonna, I think, do Freeze again at some point, and then I also do one ride Eagle again, because I saw that line is still fairly short, plus that's on two trains. So, let's do that uh, based off the game plan I just mentioned, which is basically Justice League a few times, check with the Flash Pass and if Boss isn't open still, according to the website on my phone, and then go up and ride Boss, then maybe do Eagle a few times, then come back down here and ride Freeze. I decided I'm going to shoot for 1275 right now. I just got number 1273, so I need to max it twice more. So once I do that, I'm going to go up to the boss with the Flash Pass app. It says it's uh, my app, I mean website. But yeah, let's max it out twice more. got up to 1275 on Justice League. Now I'm gonna go back to the boss because the Flash Pass website says it is back open. So let's go over there and I think use my double ride voucher on that and then maybe do either Eagle or Freeze next. I might do Eagle and then go to boss and then Freeze actually. So yeah, let's go to Eagle first instead and then go to boss and then Freeze. Somehow Eagle is still a walk on. I thought the line would be well down the ramp by now. I think that gives me a chance to do it once if not twice more really quick. So might as well take the advantage of it. And I ran into Ryan and he said it was a uh, run uh, process best it ever has this season and he's actually with uh, my brother and also Lane from Thunder Thrills and also Brady from Mr. Roller Coasters they're all here today so he was hanging out with them because they were doing all the credits and stuff because it was Brady's first time here I wasn't in the mood to do any of the other stuff that they had done I was uh, getting footage and whatnot but uh, they just did Eagle this was running really good so let's try to go oh my gosh there's a walk on oh, holy mackerel one. rode Eagle once and then I did my double ride on Boss using the double ride voucher I got Eagle, I didn't notice too much of a difference in terms of airtime strength. And then again, I was up front again because it was literally a walk-on. And uh, the speed was definitely the thing I noticed the biggest difference in. It was going much faster through the course. But the airtime, it wasn't as much as I thought I was going to get originally. Boss, I did that one twice in a row. That thing is just a riot today. Good airtime, great speed. A little rough, but not horrible. I mean, I've seen it run much, much worse than this. But yeah, it's definitely not smooth either, I would say. It's got some bite to it. But this ride is awesome. And, uh, my last time I was here, I said that I was debating on putting Freeze above this. Now I'm not sure if I'm still going to do that or not, because Boss is showing that it's running really good today. So I think Boss is still on top right in the park for now, and I don't think I'll make that final judgment at the end of the season. And uh, I mentioned Freeze just a second ago. That's where I'm going next. I've only ridden that one once today, and I want to ride it at least twice more so I can do once more in the front and maybe try the back row as well. So let's head down to Mr. Freeze. I heard Ryan's also down there with uh, Brady, Scott, and also Lane. So. Let's head down to Mr. Freeze. Back row on this thing was honestly better than my ride out front this morning, even though my front row ride was excellent.
I rode Mr. Freeze in the back row one more time and then I tried it in the front a second time. I think the back was uh, quite a bit better for today. I think now I'm gonna go start marathoning Justice League for the last hour or so of the night. We got a little over an hour to do it. So let's go get some more max scores in before the night ends. No way 1285 is happening tonight. Technical difficulties. 1280 might happen. I don't know. It depends on how fast we get the ride up and running again. I'm at 1278 right now, so I need to do it two more times in order to reach my goal of 1280 for tonight. And then uh, I would like to hit 1300 next weekend. So I'd have to get 20, which is definitely doable, but it really depends on if this ride reopens. So regardless, I'm weighing it out here. After the ride came back up, I double maxed it three times in a row to end my day. That helped me get over my goal of 1280, but I felt just short of 1285, I had 1284. So I uh, started the triple double max, I guess you could say, at 1278, so then 1280, 1282, and then 1284. So I wasn't able to get 85 tonight, but that's all right. I'll get it next time for sure if it's open. My final ride come from today was 12 on Justice League, four on Boss, four on Mr. Freeze, three on Screaming Eagle, and two on Colossus. Ryan, what did you get on today? Four on Boss, four on Mr. Freeze, two on Eagle, one and a half on Catwoman. Oh yeah, because you said, you told me you got a broke, the red yeah, broke down. Yeah, broke. Three on American Thunder, one on Batman, one on Ninja, one on Wapsum. Yeah, and you said you rode Tsunami Soaker three and times. And Tsunami Soaker three times. I, yikes, so. I don't know why he rode that thing three times. I thought it was just shooting from off-ride, but no, he was on the thing. How many times you got Justin? Like, I don't know if you mentioned that. Four times, and I max them all four times, yep. and I'm at 169 maxes. Yep. I'm definitely hitting uh, 1300 next time, because I'm 16 away. Got Batman going there. I think that would cycle an empty, because the last ride of the night is already done. Overall, a uh, really solid day. Uh, the highlight for me, I don't know. There was uh, not exactly one moment that stood out in particular for me. Boss rides I got were good. The triple double max to end out my night. And uh, actually, the last ride was a triple max. Last ride us. was a triple max as I was in the car. Yep. And uh, I was like on point. I had a. Uh, did I have like over 800,000 after the first screen? I forget. 842 after the first. Oh, yeah, that's right. And I almost had 900,000 going into the second screen of the first one. So, overall, really solid day here. Before you click off this video, please be sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already. Be sure to comment what you enjoy about this video and be sure to share it with someone else you may know. If you're new to this channel, like voice off, be sure to subscribe for more content like this. I'd appreciate you subscribing and turn the bell on so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I also have an Instagram account for the pictures I take whenever I visit parks. Be sure to check me out there as well. I'll leave the link in the description. Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you later. Thank you.